Hello, friends, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new with us today. My name's Gabe. And I'm Andrea. This week we are learning how to talk about plane trips and airports. And today we are going to the airport with Patty and her friends. So let's get started by looking at key words to help you learn. The first one is bird. Bird. There are two birds singing in that tree. Entrance. Entrance. Where is the store's entrance? I want to go in. Wave. Wave. That person is waving at us. Do you know him? Check in. Check in. Let's check in. Then we can rest in our hotel room. Airline. Airline. Which airline are you flying with to America? Okay, let's look at these keywords and say them one more time. The first one is bird. Bird. Entrance. Entrance. Wave. Wave. Check in. Check in. Airline. Airline. Well, friends, let's go and see Eddie. Let's wave to Eddie, everybody. Hi, Eddie. Hi. Hello. Eddie. Hello. You know, my favorite airline is Eddie Airways. Okay. Eddie,、mm -hmm. I've never heard of Eddie Airline. No. Well, no. Well, someday I'll have my own airline, Eddie Airlines. That's great. I、okay. hope we can ride with you in it. Yes.、Yeah. Uh, for now, can you give us today's mission? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Today's mission: Who meets Patty at the airport? Who meets Patty at the airport? Well, let's go to the airport. I'll get a cart. Thanks, Patty. I'll get the luggage out of the car. I'll miss Patty. Me too. She's a great cousin. Roger, do you need help with the luggage? I'm okay, Grandma. Thanks. Here's the cart. That's everything. Let's go. Well, friends, we see that Patty has a lot of bags. We see she has suitcases. Now, what is another word to talk about the bags or the suitcases that you use when you travel? Well, you can say bags, suitcases, or luggages. Ah,、uh, oh, okay, very close. Huh? Not luggages. I'm wrong. You are wrong, but it's okay. We can learn from our mistakes. We can call them luggage. Now you do not say I have a lot of luggages. You just say I have a lot of luggage. You can also say how many pieces of luggage. Another way to say how many bags are you traveling with? That's right. How many pieces of luggage are you traveling with? And Roger says. I'll get the luggage out of the car, and of course, Roger thinks that Patty is a great cousin. That's true, a great cousin. Now, remember, your cousin is part of your family. Your cousin is your aunt or uncle's child. That's right. Do you have any cousins? Well, Grandma has a question here. She says, Roger, do you need help with the luggage? That's a good. Phrase to know. Do you need help with something? Right. It's very polite to ask someone this. You can say, "Do you need help 
with your homework? Or do you need help with the cleaning? Do you need help eating all that food? Because I can help you eat. This airport is beautiful. I really like it. The city built the new Hualien Terminal Building in 2004. It looks like a flying bird. That's right. This is a nice little airport. I like to travel through nice airport. Me too. There's the entrance. Oh, and look, some people are waving at us. I'm Susie. Brian, you came. Andrea, do you like this bird? Hello, bird. Yes, I like your bird, Gabe. Well, yes. It's a very nice, cute bird. And bird is a key word today. Let's look at this word. The word is bird. Bird. A bird, like this one, is an animal that flies. Yes, a bird is a kind of animal. And there are many different kinds of birds. And it's true, most birds can fly. You can use this word like this. Look up in the sky. There is a bird that is flying really high. Wow! Well, Gabe, can your bird fly? Well, let me see. Can you fly, little bird? Yes, yes? it can fly. Really? It's going to fly right now. Ah, there. That bird flies. Oh, uh, oh, okay, yes, well, that's good. Your bird flies in an interesting way, Gabe. Yes, bye-bye, bird. Let's talk about another key word. The uh... word is entrance. Entrance. The entrance of a building or a place is where you go in. It's the entrance. Grandma is talking about the entrance to the airport. They have all of the luggage and everything Patty needs to go home. Now they have to go through the entrance to get into the airport. And when you enter somewhere, that means you go in somewhere. That's the verb, E-N-T-E-R, and our keyword entrance is the noun. Well, friends, we have another verb here, a keyword. It is wave. Wave. When you wave, you are using your hand to say hello or goodbye to somebody. Sometimes we wave so someone can see you as well. That's right. Hey, okay. Andrea. Hey, uh, we, we found the answer to today's mission, everybody. Oh, that's why you're waving. Yeah, that's right. Okay, the mission is who meets Patty at the airport? Who meets Patty at the airport? Aunt Susie and Brian meet Patty at the airport. They wanted to surprise you. I'm glad. Thank you so much for coming to see me off. We want to say goodbye. No, we want to say see you again soon. That's right. And you will. I'll miss you all so much. Patty, you need to check in. The airline counter is over there. Thanks, Grandma. Aunt Susie says she wants to say, see you again soon. Now, see you again soon is another way to say goodbye, and it's a bit easier than saying goodbye, isn't it? That's right. See you again soon, because when you say goodbye, that means you might not see them ever again. But when you say, see you later, or see you again, then maybe you will see someone again. That is true. Well, now Patty needs to check in, and we need to learn that key word. Check in. Check in. Now, when you check in, you tell the people that work for the airplane that you are here. When you check in, you show your ticket, you also give your luggage, your bags and your suitcases to the people. You can check your bags in at the airport. Now, it's important to remember 
when you are going on a trip to get to the airport early so that you can check in and be on your flight on time. And where do you check in? You check in at the airline counter. Our keyword is airline. Airline. An airline is the name of an airplane. There are different airlines around the world. An airline takes care of the airplane and makes sure that you are okay when you travel by plane. Yes, an airline is the company of the airplane. You can ask which airline are you flying today, or you can say this airline has great food. Or when you're at the airport, look for the name of your airline to know where to go. How to? Hello, everyone, and welcome to How to. Today, you'll learn how to talk about traveling on an airplane. Let's go to the airport and see Romeo. Hello, Ashley. Romeo. I'm over here. Romeo, what are you doing? I'm taking a trip. When do you leave? My plane leaves at 4 p.m. Your plane leaves at 4 p.m. That's great. Wow, Romeo, you have a lot of bags. <laughs> I know. Can you tell us another way to say your plane leaves? Hmm. Sure. So, Romeo, when do you leave? I fly to Vancouver at 4 p.m. You fly to Vancouver at 4 p.m. That's the second way. Now, what is the third way? My flight leaves at 4 p.m. Your flight leaves at 4 p.m. Flight is another way to say plane. Your flight or plane leaves at 4 p.m. Now let's review. My plane leaves at 4 p.m. I fly to Vancouver at 4 p.m. My flight leaves at 4 p.m. And that's how to do it, Romeo. You said your flight leaves at 4 p.m. You better go. Oh, you're right. My plane is leaving in five minutes. I have to go. Bye. Have a great trip. Bye. Conversation replay. Thanks, Patty. I'll get the luggage out of the car. I'll miss Patty. Me too. She's a great cousin. Roger, do you need help with the luggage? I'm okay, Grandma. Thanks. Here's the car. That's everything. Let's go. This airport is beautiful. I really like it. The city built the new Wally and Terminal Building in 2004. It looks like a flying bird. That's right. This is a nice little airport. I like to travel through nice airports. Me too. There's the entrance. Oh, and look, some people are waving at us. I'm Susie. Brian, you came. They wanted to surprise you. I'm glad. Thank you so much for coming to see me off. We want to say goodbye. No. We want to say, see you again soon. That's right. And you will. I'll miss you all so much. Patty, you need to check in. The airline counter is over there. Thanks, Grandma. Calendar phrase. So, Gabe. How many 
bags do you have? Andrea, I have no bags. No, 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 Gabe. How many bags do you have? Wait, <laughs> I just told you I have no bags. Okay, come on, Gabe. How many bags do you have? Andrea, I have no bags. Why do you keep asking me how many bags I have? Because that's today's. Calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. How many bags do you have? How many bags do you have? Now, if you're at an airport and you're getting ready to go on an airplane, a person might ask you this question: How many bags do you have? How many bags are you taking with you? Well, now I know why you were asking me. Let's go and learn more with today's skit. How many bags do you have? How many bags do you have? Jan, Marie, we're going to France for three weeks. Are you ready? Yes. It's a long trip. How many bags do you have? I have three bags. Jan, how many bags do you have? I only have one bag. Will that be enough? Yes. How many bags do you have? I have two bags. Let's go. How many bags do you have? How many bags do you have? Welcome back, friends. Now, Eddie, do you have a question for us? Oh yes, I have a very good question for all of you. Okay, here it is. <clears throat> do you like to travel by plane or by car? Why? Do you like to travel by plane? Or by car? Why? I like to travel by plane if I'm going somewhere very far, but I like to travel by car if I don't go far. Sounds good. Great answer, Gabe. Well, friends, ask someone this question today and practice your answer too. We'll see you next time here on Let's Talk in English, where learning, learning English can, can be fun. fun. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, I'll drive and you fly. <laughs>